Let's keep this thing fucking moving, man. Player insights on storylines in the NFL. Uh, week 18 roundup. Let's give some quick thoughts about the biggest headlines for week 18, starting with how uh, the playoffs seating ended up uh, shaking out. The playoff picture is finally set. The NFC's uh, 49ers got the bye. Cowboys get to host the Packers. Number seven Packers. Number two Cowboys. Mike McCarthy, former team. Ooh, yeah. Didn't even put that together. <laughs> forgot that uh mccarthy was even down there in dallas to be honest stud this also marks 19 straight years without a repeat division champ in the nfc east that is fucking insane dude competitive division right there holy cow every year man year in year out and uh well the number three lions host the number six rams games that will feature matt stafford's big return to detroit got some reunions going on his first time returning to the d uh, is also the Lions' first home playoff game in 30 years. The first Detroit home playoff game in 30 years. Do we even want to say it one more time? The first Detroit playoff game in over Go, 30 years. Holy Dude, shit. How about electric. Dan Campbell and the boys, Ford man? Field. Ah, oh, God, that's fucking electric, The fighting, man. kneecapping, biting Lions from Detroit. Fuck. Seen them live, dude. Way to go, Detroit. That's fucking awesome, man. Couldn't have them do a... Better tight end that guy. All right, now Dan Campbell. <laughs> number four, Bucks host the number five, Eagles. You guys slid in there at the five. Uh, Bucks clinched their straight, their third straight NFC South title and fourth straight playoff appearance. How about Baker Mayfield, man? Winning a division, man. Dude, who doesn't love Baker Mayfield? Then you got Todd Bowles as the D.C. head coach. Uh, I guess he's head coach, but he's defense. Yeah, man, it's going to be a challenge. Looking forward to it. As it always is. Bigger storyline, McCarthy and Packers reunion or Stafford golf trade reunion happening in Detroit's first playoff game in 30 years. It's got to be the the QBs that got traded for each other. For sure. Right? 100%. And the fact that it's the first playoff game played in a city in 30 years. Let's go ahead and say that again. The first uh, the playoff first game playoff happening game in, played in 30 years? This is fucking is, is insane, Cle- dude. Is Cleveland somewhere close to this? When's the last time Cleveland hosted a playoff game? Ooh. The Cleveland, when's the last time Cleveland won the AFC North? Um, it had to be 2008. I don't know why I thought that. Did did they win it? Braylon Edwards, Kellen Winslow, Derek Anderson. But they won it. They didn't get in on a... I have no idea. We're getting zero help from our interns right God now. Damn, you guys are supposed to be lightning quick. I know, right? So it makes us look way smarter than what we are. You guys are going to have to edit this to make us look even smarter than we 2021. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's right. I remember that one. Oh, that's we're idiots. Steelers. Did you guys even pay attention? <laughs> so the last one was 95. Yeah. They just looked up Browns playoffs games. And just that, that was lightning quick. They're not even listening to what we're saying right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's top. Stop it. They're the best producers in the fucking world. <laughs> Detroit's a crazy. Do you think uh, Detroit's going to boo Matty Stafford? They got to fucking cheer for him, right? No, they're blood. definitely going to. I don't know if they'll boo him, but they're going to be definitely cheering for the Detroit Lions. Yeah, but I don't everybody. Think, do I think Detroit hates Matthew Stafford? I hope not. I don't know why you would. He was a Stand-up great guy, quarterback right. for Detroit for a long time. Yeah. Uh, and I don't think the Rams hate golf, and it's a home. I don't. But I think it's going to be electric. It's a dome. And it's the first playoff game in 30 years. Jesus. So there's going to be a lot of pent-up uh, aggression and uh, emotion at that uh, stadium right there this week. Oh, yeah, baby. Also, uh, the other side of the coin where the Chiefs lie. Not right now. You got the Ravens. They got the buy in the AFC. The Bills are going to host the Steelers. The Bills won the AFC East with their victory over the Dolphins on Sunday Night Football. Uh, the Chiefs are going to host the Dolphins. Uh, exclusively on Peacock. We got a playoff game exclusively on Peacock. This will be Tyreek Hill's first time playing in KC since he joined the Dolphins. Yeah, it'll be. He has electric. played him earlier this year, obviously, but this will be the first time back in Arrowhead. And then, obviously, the Texans off their big win against the Colts clinch the AFC South for the first time since 2019 uh, with my former teammate and first year coach, head coach D'Amico Ryan's. And, of course, the rookie quarterback phenom, C.J. Stroud. He becomes only the fifth rookie quarterback and rookie coach combination uh, to make the playoffs in their first year. That's crazy. 
The first since Chuck Pagano and Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck, yeah. There we go. I didn't know Chuck was a first-year coach that year, too. Oh. Me neither.